So,、uh, you know, on the internet, there are some movements and arguments、uh, which、uh, are trying to kind of assign、uh, a token or、um, identity to every information that is exchanged. And, and you know, in countries like China,、um, there are, you know,、uh, policy changes、uh, which would make,、uh, you know,、uh, Each information、uh, put on the web、uh, identifiable so that、uh, you, know, you cannot、uh, exchange ideas anonymously. And you know, some people might argue that that is、uh, a sensible idea because you know, people can abuse、uh, the internet and troll people and uh, sometimes、um, you know, result to criminal、um, actions. and Maybe uh, every information uh, on the internet should be tagged and identified. And those persons、uh, who、um, you know, exchange ideas on the internet should be identifiable. But this is very bad for creativity、uh, because, you know, let's face it, creativity thrives on anonymity.、Uh, the you know, internet、uh, bulletin board, 4chan, Has been a meme factory for many, many years. And it actually was inspired by the Futaba channel in Japan. And、uh, Japan is actually very big、uh, in the world of anonymous exchanges of ideas. And I, I think that's probably why、uh, Japan has been really creative in the world of、uh, animations and cartoons and manga and so on. Because,、uh, you know, when people、uh, can Do things anonymously, it can lead to a really creative、uh, atmosphere. And,、uh, you know, if you stick to the maintenance of identities, that is really a bad、uh, idea in terms of creativity. You know, we tend to be uh, so self, uh, self centered and self obsessed, and, you know, third rate. Creators tend to、uh, stick to this idea that he or she is very important and you know,、uh, work is very important because he or she has、uh, created it. And this is a hallmark of a third rate uh, creator. Uh, real creator, a real you creator, know, a really productive creator, does not adhere to this、uh, importance of the self、uh, hypothesis. Uh, for example, Jane Austen,、uh, when she wrote Pride and Prejudice,、uh, she actually published it anonymously. You know, the name of Jane Austen is very uh, big uh, today, but it was not for her at the time. All that mattered was her work, which is a really wonderful work, but、uh, the name Jane Austen had nothing to do with it. And, you know, There are many instances where、uh, anonymity has、uh, resulted in a really high quality of creativity. For example,、uh, the French mathematicians、uh, who wrote many excellent papers under the pseudonym Bourbaki、uh, did a re- really great job. And you know, Bourbakiism、uh, was a ruling a mathematical trend for many, many years. And those mathematicians did not want any、uh, superficial fame. I mean, you know, scientists and researchers, they are self obsessed monsters most of the time because they want to say that, hey, I did this and、uh, I, actually I、uh, invented this and that kind of thing. I mean, so they are so self centered. But these mathematicians,、uh, under the suit name Buraki,、uh, created many, many、uh, wonderful works. and That is what anonymity can do for you because anonymity、uh, surpasses the, the borders between people. I mean, you know, in a nutshell,、uh, creativity thrives on、uh, the linking of dots、uh, between people's brains, and、uh, names and identities can only hinder the free exchange of ideas. So, you know,、uh, In the old times, there were such wonderful instances like Jane Austen or Brubaki. But with the advent of the internet,、uh, this trend 
that uh, anonymity can nurture uh, creative effect has increased and has become more prominent. And you, of course, uh, know the wonderful example of uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, who is the inventor of Bitcoin and uh, blockchain. And he published the paper anonymously. And some people argue that he's worthy of the Nobel Prize for economics. And, you know, I, I also agree with that uh, idea, but you know, nobody knows who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Satoshi Nakamoto actually controls um, hope, hoping 5% of the total Bitcoin to be mined. And that amounts to, I think, $5 billion dollars, um, at, at today's market price. And that is an incredible amount of money. So whoever Satoshi Nakamoto is, he or she would be insanely rich, but because he or she is remaining um, anonymous, nobody knows how to tap uh, the wealth. And, you know, actually, it might be actually a group of people like Brubaki. Nobody knows. But the fact that, um, you know, um, Bitcoin has been so successful and uh, blockchain has taken people's imagination is due to the fact that it is not about a single individual. I mean, it is about a group of people or a system of coordinating people's uh, efforts and ideas. And I, I think that's, that spirit is very beautifully captured by the fact that the original Bitcoin uh, paper was published online anonymously. So anonymity is really superly good for creativity. And, you know, you should really consider the significant significant effect on creativity uh, when if you impose a strict rule which would tag um, any information on the internet and uh, you know make it identifiable because that goes against the fundamental principle of creativity uh, take the example of 4chan or the anonymous uh, activity group or, uh, you know, any um, efforts like uh, the uh, Linux, Linux uh, you know, all, the, all these wonderful efforts which uh, tries to uh, tap into the collective efforts of an um, effort, creative, collective uh, processes that can happen between pe uh, people. So it, I, I'm just curious to see uh, if China's policy, uh, which uh, kind of restricts uh, the anonymity on the internet and tries to suppress any ideas that uh, is uh, contrary to the views held by the CCP, might actually uh, curb creativity in China uh, in on the long term. I mean, you know, uh, for the moment, China seems to be doing very well uh, in, in this uh, brand of digital Leninism. But uh, I am just wondering if that is sustainable. And uh, I have my doubts. Uh, I, I think creativity needs to be, uh, you know, have a breathing space. And that breathing space is defined by anonymity, uh, you know. And of course, there are many... Uh, you know, side effects and, you know, people can create really nasty content and uh, people can even, you know, uh, engage in criminal activities. But uh, I think that dark side is actually uh, part of the game. I mean, you know, without this dark side, maybe human creativity cannot thrive. I'm not saying that we should endorse these antisocial uh, behaviors. I'm just saying that you know, human creativity actually has a dark side. And without that dark side, uh, human creativity probably cannot thrive. And if you want to grant a humanity of the dark side of our spirituality, then probably you are suppressing the whole creativity um, portfolio. So uh, I'm arguing that uh, anonymity is a really necessary uh, element of creativity, and uh, not b just because uh, it is uh, practically important to exchange ideas anonymously, but uh, b also because by being anonymous, we can be freed 
from this cage of self-consciousness and self-importance, which actually can hinder uh, our you know, creativity and makes us uh, a third-rate creator. Um, like many actually creators out there uh, becoming, uh, you know, a third-rate creator is always obsessed with uh, his or her self-identity. A really great creator uh, discards his or her identity so easily because uh, all that matters is the work itself and not himself or herself.